Hey guys, it's Melanie. Happy Wednesday. Uh, I say it every month, but holy cow, it's the end of the month. <laughs> it's the end of February, and it has been a very, very productive um, home fragrance month for me in terms of finishing things. So I have a lot of stuff to share with you guys today. Um, I have continued my efforts to go through a lot of the back stock of my Bath & Body Works candles, and I have gotten to the point where I think that in March, uh, probably towards the end of March, I will do a, um, like a Bath & Body Works candle collection, a Homeworks candle collection, and just kind of random stuff candle collection for you guys. So. It has gotten to the point where I have burned through or melted through so much stuff that I feel a lot more comfortable sharing that with you guys. Um, and it's not even, you know, I don't want to say comfortable. I, I guess it's more of like, it's a more manageable amount of stuff to drag out to show you guys and then put away. <laughs> it's, it's still going to be some work. Um, there's still a fair amount of stuff. However, um, it won't take me all day to pull it out, film, and put things away again. So we're at that point, and that means that I can share that stuff with you guys. So look for that in March at some point, but in the meantime, let's get through um, home fragrance from the last month. I have a ton of wax melts, quite a few this month, and the reason is that, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of gathering the last few just to make sure I have them all. Um, this whole thing this is full okay so I finished up some wax melts that were older that I've been wanting to get rid of those definitely did not have very much strength or throw or really fragrance left in them so some of these I was changing out kind of on a daily basis um, and then there were also a few from Scentsy that didn't last as long as um, my Scentsy usually lasts me. So uh, I get a lot of questions about how many Scentsy wax melts I use and how often I change them, how long I leave my warmers on. So here is a typical. I will use two wax melts per warmer, sometimes three if I really want something to be oomphed up, but it's usually two. I will usually leave my warmers on about eight hours a day, turn them off, turn them on again the following day. And so that means with an average, like two cubes from Scentsy, I will get three, four days out of those two cubes before I feel like, yeah, definitely need to change it. Um, five days with certain scents but that is pretty unusual and by day five like i become a little bit nose blind anyway so i will change them out so i do have a number of warmers all throughout the house i have warmers in bedrooms i have warmers in bathrooms there are some rooms that have two warmers in them so there's a lot of warmers so let's get to it all right I'm just going to start listing these and you guys know what my favorites are and what I love. So I'll just kind of remind you guys quickly. Happy birthday. Love it. Smells like funfetti birthday cake. It's in my Scentsy Club. I love it. Sugar cookie. A staple. It smells like sugar cookie dough. Love it. <laughs> peach nectar. Okay. Peach nectar is new for the spring summer catalog. It is delightful. However, I have found the following. Um, it only lasts me about two days. So that's a little bit of a letdown. However, it is such a good peach scent that I think I'm gonna go ahead and order some more of it anyway, even though it only lasts a couple days. It smells that good. Uh, hazelnut frosting. Okay, so this one's a, it's a dud now. <laughs> um, one, it only lasts about a day, and two, this does not smell quite the same. Some of you said to let the new bars sit for a few weeks and cure. I don't feel like I've ever had to do that with Scentsy in the past, but I will certainly give it a go. Um, I do have one more um, bar of the peach nectar left, so I'll leave that one for the next month or two and then burn it later on in the spring. 
and I'll let you guys know if it's better, but um, the hazelnut frosting, after a day it was basically done, which was a bummer. So I've now taken that out of my Scentsy Club subscription. All right, I have Cozy Cardigan and I have Cozy Cashmere, both very lovely scents. I believe I actually warmed both of these in bathrooms. Um, they are just very perfumey, warm, cozy scents. Sandalwood, like um, romantic, like almost bedroom type scents. But they were nice in the bathroom as well. Out of the two, I think I prefer the Cozy Cashmere. Yeah, the Cozy Cashmere, I think I like a little bit better, but both are really lovely. I don't know if either one of these are still available, but they were very nice. All right, inhale, exhale. Okay, this one, this will last you for days. <laughs> like This one I was getting in my downstairs um, guest bath probably a solid six days before I had to change it out, and that was one cube in like one of the like wall plug-in warmers. This one is a powerhouse. It's not my favorite scent, but it's a very clean, fresh type scent. If you're looking for something that will last you for days, that is it. Give me passion flower, very beautiful floral. Love it. It was a bring back my bar. <laughs> uh, Tahitian black orchid. This one I couldn't smell at all. This was a total dud. This was from bring back my bar. Very pretty on cold sniff, but couldn't smell it when I was warming it. it. Sucks. Here's another happy birthday. Love happy birthday. Cozy cabin. This was actually in my laundry room and this was from, I think it was actually from December. I just never brought it up. So it's nice. Not something that I would repurchase though. It's more of a fresh scent. I have, let's do something other than scentsy. I had a bunch of these Goose Creek um, peanut butter sugar. I got a day. I would put three of these. They have kind of like a pizza shape to them. They're little triangles. Um, I would put three of these in one of my Scentsy warmers and I could smell it for like half the day and then it was done. So, but these are old. <laughs> so just goes to show you don't, don't keep things forever because they do lose their smell, especially these Goose Creek ones. Um, Goose Creek uh, is not a brand that I purchased from anymore, but this peanut butter sugar is really one of a kind scent. It's really beautiful. I don't know if they still have it. If they do and you like Goose Creek, I would definitely encourage you to check this out because it's lovely. But yeah, anyway, I just kind of wanted those out of my life and they're done. Uh, Quiver, this was a bring back my bar. I had this in my um, Scentsy Club, but I took it out. It was, it was okay. Um, cherry Almond Pie, delicious. Again, a bring back my bar. So there is a sweet plum pastry in here. I love this. Another happy birthday. I think a couple of these I actually had in my drawer downstairs where I keep my Scentsy for the downstairs. Um, I store everything in a closet up here and I will move some bars downstairs so that I don't have to run upstairs to get them if that makes sense. So I had a few of these just sitting in the drawer downstairs from when I had finished them and I forgot to bring them upstairs, but happy birthday is Stroopwafel Delight. It smells just like Stroopwafels. Um, it's basically a caramel inside of a sandwich of um, like waffle cone. It's delicious. Oh, that's so good. This is in my club. I love it. Um, another sweet plum pastry, another sweet plum pastry, pistachio ice cream, really, really good, much better performer this time around, but only about two, mm, I think I just switched it out on the third day, but it could have still gone on the third day, but not as strong as I wanted. Sugar strawberry, amazing, fantastic, love it, it's back again, get it, it is delightful, and then a berry fairy tale, this is really nice too. Very, very um, fruity, just strawberry, raspberry, blackberry kind of blend. It's really sweet. It's delightful. That is a lot. That's a lot of wax. Some hits, some misses, such is the case. All right. Candles. Oh, there's a lot, you guys. Um, I did a lot of warming in my candle crocs. If you don't know what a candle crock is, I'm just going to link a video down below um, that will explain it to you. So... Candle Croc was busy with Creamy Nutmeg. So Creamy Nutmeg uh, from this collection, when was this? 2016. Um, this was a holiday collection and 
basically I was putting these into my candle crocs and I was only getting about three days worth of scent so these lost a lot of their fragrance over the last couple of years bums me out because this is a favorite in terms of scents from Bath and Body Works but anyway I still have a few more left I've got another one going in here I've got one going downstairs right now I'm just trying to basically get those out of the house so here's another creamy nutmeg here is a, ooh, a Henry Bendel candle. I busted into my Henry Bendel uh, vanilla bean stash, grabbed this vanilla bean, burned most of it, got to the bottom, just decided to put it on a hot plate warmer um, to finish it off, and so, yeah. I'm really sad that Henry Bendel is no more. <laughs> ooh, okay, so this was a little bit of a what? <laughs> Do you see the soot on this guy? Ooh, do you see that? Oh, that made me mad when I caught that. It's a blueberry pie from when it was originally released. Um, I still have a couple more of these and um, I'm gonna burn them, but it seems like it's around the halfway point that it starts to soot. So anyway, I, this finished its life in the candle crock, so it was fine. Um, but uh it, it's back blueberry pie is back but it's in the core line this go around um this one also ended up in the candle crock not because it was sooting this was not sooting but um i just wanted to light a new candle and um i know this one does really well in the candle crock i got probably a solid six days of this in the candle crock and i do leave the crocks on 24 7 once i stick the candle in there um and then when i can't smell it anymore i just turn it off let it harden and then I am left with scentless wax. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's what happens there. Um, strawberry pound cake, delicious, delightful. This one at the end was struggling a little bit with like puny wicks, um, but I love this smell. So, so good. This one, um, wow, this smells like nothing, which is crazy because this one's really strong. Um, I put this one in the candle crop. Yeah, doesn't smell like a gosh darn. What happened to my little thing here? Oh, probably Penny. Anytime anything is missing in the house, it is Penny. I'm telling you guys, she is a stinker. All right, um, oh, here's another uh, Bath and Body Works blueberry pie. Oh, it's so weird when this is scentless because it's usually pretty strong. But anyway, put this one in the candle crop as well. Um, let's do some, let's do some homeworks. Still love my homeworks candles, you guys. Um, I did order a couple of the new ones. I'm actually, um, going to be going to Ulta later on this week. And I think that my local Ulta got the candles in store. So I'll be picking up a couple of the new ones there. Um, but I did order some from QVC as well. And I think those are supposed to be here either today or tomorrow. So I got the strawberry patch. I love Harry's strawberry. And I also got the rose petals in the really pretty basket weave fancy glass. Um, there's more that is going to be coming out, I'm sure, and I'll definitely pick more Homeworks candles up, but I've done a really good job of getting through a lot of my backup stash, so let's get to it. Berry Trifle, delicious, delightful. I hope he comes back with this scent. I don't think he was discontinuing this one. Uh, burned it all the way down. Oh, it's so good. This one did really well. Love it. I have, oh, actually, I have two Berry Trifles. Yeah, here's the other one burn that down. Um, you can see the wick clip on one of them, but the other ones, the wick clip was not exposed. But anyway, I love berry trifle. This, by the way, um, raspberries, wild blueberries, strawberries, blackberries, vanilla pound cake, Grand Marnier sauce. I do still have a couple of the original three wicks left, um, but I thought I'd burn through the four wicks first because I like the packaging of the original ones and I want to save that for summertime. So um, a couple of coconut cakes here um from this collection uh this one um i mean it, it burned fine it burned all the way down um I, this one lost a wick on the second to last burn so that one was a little funky um but other than that i i feel like this one wasn't quite as good as the original in terms of the formulation of the fragrance. Um, I felt like this was a little more, it lacked that coconut note for me. It just kind of had a basic kind of yellow cake note to it. Um, so I, if you see these on sale, I would not recommend these particular ones. Um, 
but I do like the original coconut cake. In fact, I have a couple of those left that I'm saving for summer as well. So this was toasted coconut, coconut milk, whipped cream, buttercream frosting, and baked cake with pecan. I don't know. It just smelled more like generic cake note with this one. So not terrible, but not like the original coconut cake either. Um, oh, here's the original berry trifle. Oh, so here's what we got with the three wicks. The three wicks definitely did not burn to the last drop, which is why I like the four wicks personally. Um, but this, this, I can see the tops of the wick clips. So, but there's just quite a bit of wax left in here. I could break this out and melt it, but I'm just, I'm not that, I don't have that much time on my hands right now. So, um, but anyway, I do prefer this packaging over this packaging. So I have a few of these left. I'm going to save it for this summer. Um, let's go back to Bath and Body Works real quick. Peach Bellini. I already cleaned this out. I plan on using this for a floral arrangement at some point this summer. I still need to get the label off the bottom. Uh, Peach Bellini did great. Burned really great all the way down. Amazing. I have a couple of warm vanilla sugars in the little style here. The little jars. Um, when were these? 2013 or 11. Was this 2011? Hang on. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was 2011. Ooh, these are old. Uh, which would explain why they're scentless. <laughs> I just had these in my bathroom as like ambiance. There was no smell coming out of those. Um, I had these outside in my backyard, so that is why they are so schmutzy and dirty. So this is not the candle's fault. This is from them being used in our backyard under our covered patio area during the holidays and January. Um, finally finished these up at the very beginning of February. I have a frozen balsam. Yeah, I'm telling you. There are pine needles in here and schmutz and soot from the fireplace. These are pretty dirty. Um, also, I burned trim the tree outside. This is a lovely combo, by the way, um, for the holiday time. Um, we spend a lot of time in our backyard, even in the winter months, because we have a really nice fireplace outside. And so we just light a fire and um, we also have some space heaters outside. <laughs> so we just hang outside in the cold while we're surrounded by fire. Um, but yeah, it, this has a ton of soot from like the fireplace. I mean, it's just covered in the bottom there. But anyway, really enjoy both of those scents outside. They're a little strong for inside the house, but I would actually repurchase those this next coming holiday season again because we just enjoyed them outside so much. Um, I have a berry pumpkin waffles. Um, I already cleaned this out as well. Um, it burned to the very bottom and um, I just thought I would take the wicks out while they were loose in there. So because they were nice and warm, it loosened the glue on the bottom. Um, I still have to wash it out and stuff, but I do like to clean out these and reuse them elsewhere. So sometimes I'll put flowers in them. Oftentimes I will put them in... Um, the bathroom to put cotton buds or whatever in there. Um, actually, I also finished my enchanted peony um, that came in the um, hobnail glass, and that is already cleaned out and in my guest bath. You guys can't see it, but it's over there. That's why I'm pointing over there. So is that it for the homeworks? That is all the homeworks. The rest are more Bath and Body Works. So two more of the creamy nutmegs. I'm telling you guys, I was getting maybe two, three days of smell out of these, and so I just kept switching them out because, yeah, it sucks. Anyway, it's my own fault. I should have used them sooner. Vanilla birch. This one I burned to the halfway point, and then I put it in the candle crop. It's a beautiful scent. I have one more left. At this point, I don't know if I... Re I'm really into the fruity bakery stuff again, so... I don't know that I'll light it this year, but definitely I need to use it this fall and winter because these were from 2017 and um, I gotta, I gotta burn that stuff. Oh, here's another vanilla birch. Yeah, so there's like, there's one left. I remember buying three. There's one more in the back stock there. But this one I burned a little bit further. This one did get a little sooty, so you've got a little, a little bit of soot there. Um, but again, put it in the candle crock and it was great. That was delightful. Ah, uh, yes. 
Mm, my beloved um, berry waffle cone. <laughs> I had a major brain fart on this one one day um, and you guys corrected me. Yeah, a berry waffle cone. So I have several, more than several left of these, which is awesome because these are amazing. Um, this one did end up in the candle crock, not because it doesn't perform. It performs incredibly well to the last drop, but I just felt like prolonging the smell. And so I got a, probably a solid six days out of this in the candle crock. Um, smoked berries and incense. This burned all the way down, but I could not even smell it. I had it in my bedroom. It was basically mostly unscented. It had a throw of maybe like a two, and that was in my bedroom, which is a bummer. But do you guys remember this collection? What was it, like the opulence or whatever collection? Um, kind of a bummer. I had sold most of these on Mercari. I mean... <laughs> quite a bit of money on selling this particular one on Mercari because a lot of people were looking for it um but yeah anyway and then I waited too long to burn what I had left uh sparkling amber another one that had to go into the candle crock um uh, this was such a bummer too it's from that same collection um these were 2014 so these are pretty old god they had these priced at 30 dollars smoking something at Bath and Body Works. This design was not worth that extra, even in 2014. That was crazy expensive for 2004. I did not pay that for these. No way. I think I probably got them on a like $12.95 or $12.50 or whatever they were back in 2014 when they were on sale, but I would have never paid. No, because it's even like, it's the design is messed up. It's like scratched and stuff. It doesn't even like connect properly like along the seam anyway also two small um nest candles here linen uh delightful it smells like laundry detergent and rose noir and oud i need a full size of this one god that's beautiful this is a beautiful rose such a beautiful rose um so yeah you guys that's that's a lot of I have a lot of cleaning up to do so I'm going to recycle all of this stuff um, I clean the wax out I've, I've done a video on this so I'll try to remember to link the video down below on how I clean everything out but um, yeah I've got a lot of cleaning up to do here so I'm gonna hop to it let me know what you finished down below in the comments um, let me know if you have any questions and be sure to watch the candle crock video if you haven't done that that will explain that whole idea to you guys and um i highly recommend getting one or two or three i have three <laughs> they are fantastic for candles that don't behave all right thanks so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one take care bye